If you have seen or heard of the Motorola Z lineup of phones in the last couple of years, you probably know that they are modular. Now, what does that mean? Well, mods allow slash add additional functionality to your already very capable smartphone. With that being understood, let's begin. This is Bad Tech and Gaming's review of my top three battery pack mods for the Motorola Z lineup of phones. I will go in order of when I purchased them and how my usage has differed. And since these are not complex devices, there will only be two categories for each of these mods, good and bad. Starting off, we will cover the standard battery pack mod. Being very simple, the goods and bads are pretty easy to spot. Goods? This mod adds another 2700 milliamp hours of battery life onto my phone, making sure I get through more than a day's use, which I would normally need an external power pack for. This is a beautiful thing. Another good is how it has a rubbery texture on it, making it not slide on, well, most surfaces. On the bad side of things, it only has one way to charge it that is attached to the phone and only after the phone has reached and been charged to 100%. So this is an overnight charging device. You charge it up overnight and it hopefully lasts you throughout the day. And as all mods, there seems to be a little bit of a wiggle when the mod is attached. You can slide it just ever so slightly, which does kind of concern me, but I haven't got any issues from it yet. This is my least favorite of these three battery pack mods. Now before we get to the wireless charging mod, don't forget to like and subscribe to help support the channel and if you like this video, of course. Moving on, a few months later I received the wireless charging mod, which takes really my biggest negative point on the last mod and fixes it. Wireless charging being that. The goods for this one is a means of secondary charging that is not only through the phone. It can charge wirelessly even when the phone is not attached to it. It has the same battery pack, however, of 2700 milliamp hours as the regular mod did. But the bads come up a little bit quicker on this one. It is slippery to the touch. It is completely plastic and does feel cheap. You can see that the hump on the back of this thing, almost like where the coil is. At least that's what I'm assuming, but it does look okay, I guess. To be honest, if this one didn't have the secondary method of charging, it would be the third in this list, but instead it comes in at second. Last but not least, the Turbo Power Pack mod. This feels like a second generation product. It takes all of the original things I liked about the, the first mod, the slim size and the rubbery back, and then adds a bigger battery to it, a 3400 90 milliamp hour battery and a textured back that is actually kind of fun to play with as well it also retains that small size i can't emphasize that enough it makes it feel like there's just a normal otterbox case on my phone these mods are something i use daily the only time that a battery pack is not on my phone is when i'm using a different mod like the projector or the gamepad or the speaker mods which is something i use frequently there is no reason to not have mods on your phone. With the shatter shield and the metal frame, it's a durable phone and you won't break it easily. So extra protection is almost unnecessary. In conclusion, if you're going to spend your money, get the Turbo Power Pack. It does seem a little expensive, but is 100% worth the money. If you can get any of these on sale, you will not be disappointed. These are my opinions, of course, on the Moto Z lineup of phones and the battery packs that go with them. If you don't have them, you are missing out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to take this channel to the next level and start making at least one video per week. Other creators will be joining Bad Tech and Gaming soon, so keep an eye out for them and show them some love. None of us are paid to do this. You should be able to tell us apart by our different voices and our video styles as each and every one of us is very different. So with that being said, thank you so much. It is time to end.